Oh, really, Nintendo? You don't say. Oh, we have a Reggie, please come in. Only one place. Yes, right. What's up? All right. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know man thumbs up like the video support the content we here let's hit you with some flames right now we have a couple of dope news items for this video and the first one nintendo genesis does you can't do this on Nintendo. Nintendo has finally begun spilling the beans of their next gen hardware. I'm going to share what the global president Shintaro Furukawa says and I'm going to share my thoughts. You may agree or disagree with what I'm saying, but I'm going to keep it a buck. All right. <laughs> and so when asked about their plans for the next gen hardware specifically here's the question here's the response could you tell us about the outlook for your next gen game game hardware has always displayed an image on a tv or other kind of screen while you do something and i think that's where the limits of this format are would the hardware you're thinking about go beyond these limits this is what Shintaro furukawa says our current generation game system, Nintendo Switch, has entered its fourth year since launch, but its momentum is increasing. We believe that there are two factors behind this. First is the existence of two hardware configurations with different characteristics. In Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Lite, the second factor is that Nintendo's development resources are concentrated on development developing content for a single platform nintendo switch we want to extend the life cycle of nintendo switch while maximizing such advantages so he's saying two reasons why they like the switch one is because they have the, the core nintendo switch and the switch like two options for two different for, for gamers then two, I really agree with this one, that all of their game development is consolidated on one platform. Before, Nintendo's making home console games and separate developers were making handheld games. For the Switch, you make all the games in one. All right, all right that's what he says. All right, Ko Shiota, director, uh, senior executive officer at Nintendo also responds. I'm gonna share my thoughts after this response. Check out what he says. In addition to the performance aspects, higher tech specs, Nintendo's dedicated video game platforms are developed with focus on providing a comfortable environment for consumers to play fun software. <laughs> From the perspective of playing with the image displayed on a TV, we believe that because consumers can play Nintendo Switch on a TV or the game console screen itself, it has greatly increased the opportunities for gameplay in various scenes in their lives compared to previous consoles. Through Nintendo Switch, we made many discoveries about where a, video, a dedicated video game platform can fit into a consumer's daily life. We see scenes on social media of children and their families sitting around a game console to play, which gives us a renewed sense of the value of our dedicated video game platform. We will utilize these experiences in carefully considering the form of our future, uh, the form our future game consoles take all right i don't even know um where really to, well i know where to begin so nintendo has pretty much said they like what the switch is doing this is what i got for this if it ain't broke don't fix it now when the switch first launched i remember saying this is nintendo's best route to survive 
going um, the hybrid route because they're ha one their handhelds always sell good their handhelds sell good and what the president just said they don't we won't have any more drops we're gonna talk about that in a second no more drops all their games in one place that's what I was saying to myself as a wishful naive Nintendo fanboy I have to say this first having the hybrid they're gonna sacrifice on power there's no way Nintendo is gonna come out with a hybrid handheld console with the same specs as a PlayStation 5 why it's gonna cost two thousand dollars to do that <laughs> so Nintendo my thing is it seems like Nintendo's gonna also sacrifice specs again I could imagine the Nintendo's next gen console is gonna be on par with the current gen PlayStation 4 Xbox one all right uh, and it, this also shows me that Nintendo is no is not gonna be competing directly with the PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X what do I mean Nintendo is not gonna come out with a traditional home power a powerful home console where it's going to get third-party games running and looking on par with what Sony and Microsoft has to offer which is a shame again I said this before I grew up when Nintendo had the best third-party games I mean they had the best looking third-party games and first-party games they had both and in many respects in my opinion they're lacking in that not lacking but yeah they're lacking in both third first third party is obvious uh, third party games don't look as good don't run as good on the switch that's not even debatable so if you're debating that I don't know what to say you're lost first party now Nintendo don't get me wrong Nintendo has great first party IPs but recently I, I tweeted out on oh, no I didn't tweet that on Twitter I'm gonna tweet that on Twitter I've been playing through my Xbox back backlog and then I started playing through my PlayStation um, backlog oh my goodness I have been sleeping hard on the Sony's first party exclusives now I see why Sony has won every console generation except for the Wii which who cares about the Wii at this point Sony their, their first party catalog especially this generation has been crazy bro I just beat spider-man insane I just beat last of us 2 insane just yesterday on my gaming channel Obi-Wan plays gaming championships where I do my live streams I just beat God of War on a PS4 bro that game was so good now I see why it got game of the year 2018 bro Sony their stable of first part, the quality of their first party games is off the chain. And that's one of the reasons why I was so hyped in that PlayStation 5 event. Those first party games, look, they look like they're going to rinse and repeat, have great first party exclusives for the PlayStation 5. Horizon Westward Bound looked insane. Ratchet and Clank looked insane. And there's rumors that Sony still has more surprises, that they didn't show everything in that presentation. So back to Nintendo. I think Sony's first party stable is right there with Nintendo. If we just look at the Nintendo Switch and what they've um, released for the Switch this generation. Zelda Breath of the Wild, insanely good. Don't even get that twisted. Zelda, phenomenal game. My favorite Zelda game. But other than that, let's look at those exclusives. Mario Odyssey was cool. But it is not the best 3D Mario game. I think Galaxy still holds that holds that title. Uh, it was a good game though. But Nintendo's first party games. Uh, what has Nintendo been giving us uh, with the Switch? Now, Hor Animal Crossing Horizon. This is what I was saying. Um, what they said about the what I said about the droughts. And okay, it's dope. Nintendo's gonna go hybrid. We're gonna get first party games um, uh, we're gonna get the handheld and home all in one Nintendo's gonna have a consistent stream of games throughout the life cycle of the switch but it seems like we're still 
having gaming tracks. And this is where third party games are so vital and critical. The Switch has been getting like Doom Eternal. That game's been out. It's finally, I think, about to launch. I don't even know yet. But because Nintendo doesn't have those triple A third party games to fill in the gap, the first half of this year has been trash on the Switch, bro. I don't know how else you can say it. And here's the quandary, the dilemma. If you're not a fan of Animal Crossing, the first half of this year has been garbage on the Switch for you. Bro. Um that's, that's, there's, there's no what else to say. I have there's something I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm saying it right now. I lost my train of thought. But yeah, the first half of this year, if you're not a fan of Animal Crossing, and this is what I was gonna say. This isn't the only year. Go back and check last year. What what first party exclusives Nintendo release? Garbage the first half of the year. The second half of the year, they packed out games for whatever reason. I don't know why. They don't believe people play games the first half of years. But Nintendo is still having droughts, gaming droughts with the Switch. If you're an indie fan, you're always going to have something to play on the Switch. But if you're looking for a big triple A games, new ones, you're going to have, there are a lot of ports. You, you got ports of old games. But if you're, if you're um, looking for big triple A games, droughts. The Wii U had serious droughts. The Wii, I remember the last two years of the Wii, the only game Nintendo released was Zelda Skyward Sword. And they left us high and dry for the two years on the Wii, bro. It was real bad because there was no third party or first party games on the Wii. We just had garbage party smash up games on the Wii. The GameCube had droughts. The Nintendo 64, I remember, specifically remember, waiting for months for Nintendo's big game. Because that's when third-party developers are starting to crank out games on the PlayStation 1. And Nintendo was almost an afterthought. And so, it seems like, unfortunately, it's going to be, this is going to be my prediction. The Switch 2, Switch Plus, Switch Pro, whatever it's called. It's going to sell like crazy. Right now, the Nintendo Switch is selling like crazy with no big games launching in 2019. I mean, 2020. No huge, new, huge new AAA games other than Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is carrying the Switch, and it's going to keep selling good. But it's not for me. It's not for me. And dudes are like, oh, Obi-Wan, you left Nintendo. I didn't leave Nintendo. Nintendo left me, bro. <laughs> Don't get that twisted. I was always a Nintendo fan. But the games, man, it comes down to the games. And just going through my backlog on Xbox and PlayStation, I see Sony has been the most consistent company for the last four or five generations. Since the PlayStation 1, really. They've been, when I say consistent, as far as sales and domination, and they have dominated um, all, all generations in the home console, on the home console um, front. Bro, just think about this, and I'm going to end this video. Video went on a little longer than I expected. The PlayStation 4 is about to go bye-bye. Sony's about to release brand new PlayStation 5. In the waning months of the PlayStation 4, we're getting, we've gotten Last of Us 2 steeped in controversy. But if you play that game from beginning to end and you said that game is trash, I got to check your gaming pulse. Game was epic, bro. Love, love, love that game from beginning to end. And in about a week, we're getting Ghost of Tsushima. Two possible Game of the Year contenders. Real good games coming when the the console is about to they're about to launch a brand new console this is what i'm talking about with sony they're supporting this system all the way to the end they did not abandon the playstation 4 and it and it i see why i'm already predict the playstation 5 is going to sell like crazy because Sony is respects their consumers, bro. They're not going to abandon you. They're going to make sure that you have that content all the way through. When the PlayStation 5 comes out, PlayStation 4 is still going to be selling good. Um, and they're going to support. Um, no, they're gonna probably, no, every console manufacturer, they're going to focus on that PlayStation 5. Don't get it twisted. But I, I, it's glad that, I'm glad that they supported the PlayStation 4 all the way 
to the end. All right, so Nintendo's next gen console um, looks like it's going to be a hybrid. I was hyped for the hybrid design at the beginning because I was like, no more gaming droughts. Oh, it's going to be epic. <laughs> Not what it turned out to be. We still have droughts on the Switch. And, um, well, yeah, I'm not sure we still have drops on the Switch. All right, and it's underpowered hardware. Third-party games, you're going to be forced to get a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. There is one more news item for this video, guys. A Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct rumors are heating up. And we have a specific, a specific date. Monday, July 20th. July 20th is a rumor date for the next Nintendo Direct. This is what I'm predicting. Mario remakes have been highly rumored. I think we're going to finally get the announcement of the Mario remakes. And I do think Nintendo is going to have a surprise for us. I think Nintendo will surprise us in this Nintendo Direct. They always have a surprise, a teaser. It would be dope if we get some Metro, a Metroid tease that would be lit. Bayonetta 3. What's the update on Bayonetta 3? I think we might get all of that content in the next Nintendo Direct. Monday, July 20th is the rumor date. We'll have to see. Um, but what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi1plays. You'll thank me later. Also, Check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.